The more I look into Cardano and the future that's up ahead for this project, um, it's definitely interesting to see the speed of the reliability and the, these aspects that they're trying to aim for. Um, as far as the actual real world functionality that we're going to be seeing in terms of uh, blockchain, uh, a lot of these different consumer uh, contracts and these different companies that are going to be interested in implementing cryptocurrencies into their systems, and which is a day that's slowly but surely dawning um, as these things move forward and what we're going to be um, I, I would say definitely we're going to be seeing um, the uh, conversation around um, hacks uh, is definitely something that um, is a huge motivation in the consumer aspect of people who are going to be um, wanting to depend upon these things so um, the fact that uh, people might criticize Cardano for being um, a bit over uh, well I would say that quote unquote would say that Cardano is trying to do too many things at once but uh, I wouldn't respect a cryptocurrency that wasn't trying to um, sort of have that forward look. It's the most innovation. Um, and look, you have to take into consideration the uh, amount of development that's happened so far and how little it actually is in the overall context of um, the maximization of the growth potential that's available once all these different variables are aligned. When all the attention of all these different developers and all these different things is going to be culminating on these different uh, problem solution, um, you know, problem action solution variables as we start to learn from the problems that were made by uh, a lot of these other and of course smart contracts are going to be right in the center of this and blockchain um, blockchain 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 this is definitely a key fundamental point that I think is a takeaway um, that I'd like to impart on anybody watching this video um, blockchain is the name of the game as far as cryptocurrency is concerned so the more I do um, research into the team that's working on Cardano uh, the lot of uh, looking under every Every rock um, and basically trying to understand um, what's happening behind the scenes as best I can um, all these different um, you know basically I'm looking forward to seeing the next roadmap update next uh, a month away um, I think that it's definitely step by step uh, we have to sort of take these things uh, these developments one at a time but I would say that a lot of the different variables are aligned um, and I would say I mean uh, blockchain storage uh, Cardano testnet uh, all these different things I think that Cardano does do a great job of keeping the uh, community uh, in the know as far as uh, how these developments are taking place and I think that that sort of transparency um, is going to be a huge hallmark uh, in the development of this space and how we see uh, sort of the cryptocurrencies that are able to have that transparency uh, will eventually probably have a capability of outperforming uh, the cryptocurrencies that fail to live up to that mark. I think that this video is actually a great opportunity for us to have a real discussion and I really hope that um, the audience watching this, um, that would be you guys, um, probably go down in the comments down below because uh, I'm hoping that we can develop a really uh, interesting conversation uh, because I think that that's one of the best things about uh, the internet and the current, um, this community that we've been growing is that we can all learn from each other and um, that being said, we're going to be addressing um, a lot of of the uh, fundamental issues and concerns that people have um, regarding Cardano um, and what we can be expecting um, during the period of time in between uh, 2019 and the completion of the uh, Cardano roadmap um, and in between now and uh, 2021 and how uh, essentially we can see the science and technology coming together and really culminating um, in the product that you know in the sort of the t technology that we see possible um, and what comes to mind, I think that one of the things that people uh, think about is, uh, I mean, a lot of the people who probably bought in uh, Ethereum when it was close to or under a dollar, uh, and then, of course, watch the technology develop and uh, move to the position where it is right now. Um, and I think that it's interesting to see uh, a technology like uh, Cardano and uh, essentially leveraging the potential that's made available by uh, the change and realistically the vision of where the uh, functionality is aspect of these things is going to be um, interplaying and I want to talk about smart contracts and the way that Cardano is um, attempting to basically market themselves off as uh, having learned from the mistakes of uh, the other cryptocurrencies and essentially moving in a direction that's going to be more compatible uh, with the vision of the way that these different things are going to be functioning as far as blockchain um, and the future of all these different variables so uh, a lot of interesting topics 
to definitely discuss um, ahead. Uh, I think that from a technical aspect, there's certainly a lot of very interesting things that are going on behind the scenes, um, in particular when we see uh, the, the fact that, uh, I mean, it's very commonly known um, knowledge that uh, Alibaba holds the most crypto patents um, and uh, I mean, the most patents in that uh, general. So it's interesting to see uh, that basically what these uh, different plans uh, that are basically happening behind this. Nobody could really say. I mean, when you think about the technology uh, and the availability of the technology and once uh, one thing is really set uh, in uh, public consciousness, uh, it has a tendency to develop. Uh, that's sort of one of the uh, a great scientist said that one time that uh, once a technology is introduced um, to the the public, uh, you know, one nation develops it, you know, take uh, any technology from the dawn of creation. What happens is we see the development of that technology. It's sort of the old age uh, Pandora coming out of the box. So when we see uh, Cardano and all these different, um, you know, Cardano price moves up as new exchange, uh, perhaps ADA, uh, this is really small, um, small potatoes. I was, I mean, definitely seeing Cardano listed on uh, these exchanges. But what I want to um, really talk about is the, uh, the aspect of uh, how we're going to be seeing these things actually functioning um, in the real world uh, as these different applications are going to be coming to the forefront. Uh, I, I think that definitely Cardano is definitely, uh, you know, it's one of those technologies that has uh, a, a very good grasp on uh, what the future is actually going to be like with the functionality of these different things uh, as they'll be happening behind the scenes. I mean, people who otherwise might not even be interested in cryptocurrency will definitely be uh, interacting with blockchain um, and all these different variables as we see the uh, paradigm, uh, the realistically, it's a paradigm shift that's been uh, commencing um, step by step. So uh, with the market cap where it is at 209, uh, I think that that is definitely a very interesting um, number. And we've been seeing it sort of uh, having a lot of uh, struggle um, to make it in well more further into that 200. But um, it is interesting to see uh, relatively the space moving sideways. But even in this market, I'm definitely interested in seeing um, the developments that Cardano has in the um, in the works. Uh, essentially, it's a very interesting cryptocurrency. So apart from this new exchange and uh, the subsequent price movement that we've probably seen, I'm sure a lot of people who were uh, recently picking up, you know, filling up their bags with Cardano are probably pretty happy about uh, this recent development that we've been seeing. Uh, but on top of that, um, I think that it's definitely interesting. Um, and we always see uh, this conversation about the Cardano um, potential Coinbase listing. Um, and I think that uh, this is definitely something Thing that uh, I want to keep um, pressing. I think it's interesting to keep bringing up to the audience. Um, and of course, that's the reason for the title of the video. Uh, I think that it's important as we are the Cardano community to really make our voices heard. Um, and I think that this Coinbase thing could be a very big next step um, as far as these uh, you know, developments continue to move forward. And of course, um, something else that I think is definitely going to be um, a huge marker in the Cardano development is going to be on a larger scale, what we see happening involving uh and that's regulations um because the fact that cryptocurrency is uh working on such a wide uh variety of variables involving the international stage uh, and all these different interests um i would say that as we see um regulations all these things coming into um the the picture i think cardano is definitely going to be one of the ones that uh, you know definitely checks out um and fills the uh gap but when we talk about smart cities uh we talk about all these different things um, and the implementation of the internet of things uh, I think that the more people using the internet as well the widespread um, accessibility of smartphones and all these different variables are building the rudiments of the structure that we're going to see um, as the world of tomorrow you know the future as these things continue to move forward so um, all that being said uh, remember I'm not your dad you know this video is for entertainment educational purposes only I mean th these are just my opinions um, now I know um, a lot of the criticisms that uh, and obviously, I, I'm a lot of people um, criticize my videos because they say that I'm not hard enough um, on these technologies. But um, I think that um, there's enough 
uh, people out there. I, mean, I think that I, in, I I try to have a more of a biased perspective and just look at these things um, from both ways rather. So I don't really want to um, praise uh, Cardano because I, I think that uh, that would uh, we should really probably try to criticize them as, in as many ways as we can to help them uh, move along. You know, not browbeating, but uh, essentially just trying to um, make the best decisions so that we could see the most scientific um, and mathematical progression. Um, you know, uh, these variables as they uh, continue to move forward, especially at this critical juncture. Um, but uh, you know, I also found this. Uh, this was also uh, interesting. I was uh, checking out um, in a, that's a tweet that uh, I guess we'll uh, leave for later. Um, but anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this content. If you guys are interested in connecting with us on uh, Twitter, um, you could do so. You know, it's at CryptoTuber. And uh, you know, remember, I'm not a, a financial advisor. You know, this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I'm not your dad, but um, you know, I am here to help uh, and uh, provide my opinion. And of course, uh, make sure that we get a good uh, conversation going. And uh, if you guys are interested, make sure that you uh, subscribe to us on uh, the YouTube channel as well. Um, and all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I think uh, we'll definitely be seeing some interesting things from Cardano um, in the overall cryptocurrency space um, as things continue to move forward. So have a good day, everybody. And I uh, hope you have enjoyed this, uh, found this video informative.